you know, I would have known to do some odd stuff, but not that. All right, well, it's the beginning of a Friday morning. We have tons of things to do. We're gonna try and tackle some things that have been eluding us for a while. Finishing up some wiring. Uh, I'm gonna mess with the steering column today, I think. Yeah, no more rope steering. No more rope steering. <laughs> so next week, we'll be putting the engine and transmission in it. We're getting it all detailed up and resealed. And we previously started the engine before we ever tore the truck apart. And it's a solid engine, runs nice. 454, yeah. big block. So, you know, big window, big block, that's what you got to have, I guess, so. Doo, doo, doo. Oh, look at that, it's like it's made for it. <laughs> we'll go ahead and tighten up the upper control arm. I'll move you guys over there, see what happens there. And I need, we do need to do a ball joint, the top ball joint there, and tighten that one up there. And then we're actually ready for spindles. Yay! Uh, we need to replace the bushings and the trailing arms. Uh, we need to snatch his other rear end because that's a that's a good fresh rear end that's been rebuilt. Uh, we need to go change that, change the control arms, uh, install his rear springs, probably set the cab. I don't want to try to put the motor in there without the cab on it because uh, things might get a little weird. <laughs> All right, so we just set the cab. It's on there crooked right now. We're gonna be able to move it around. So here we go. Right front. We. Here's our T. Left front. Here's our brake line that comes up. And then it pops up right here. And now, uh, we'll paint it, and it'll look awesome. What's up, everybody? Auto Rod Garage here, and uh, we're doing more stuff today. Uh, today we're continuing working on Brandon's truck. Um, as you can see, I've already got his transmissions it's all cleaned up. I've already changed the torque converter seal. I've already changed the tail shaft seal. Um, I'm not gonna bother with doing the, the tranny pan yet. I'm gonna wait till that, that's actually in the truck. It's just a lot easier to do it like that. Um, hopefully later on today, we're gonna be doing the rear main. He's got a, a 454 for this thing. Um, we're gonna do the rear main and oil pan gasket. You know, just kind of reseal some stuff up. Um, but uh, anyway, I want to show you something here. Here is his column. It's all painted. Ooh, and that's where the steering wheel goes. Here's our wiring and all that stuff. Anyway, I want to show you some stuff here. I don't know where we ended uh, last time, but uh, holy moly! What is all that stuff? Yep. The hardest thing is not scratching something. So, let's see. See that. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and slide the column inside the cab, and uh, we're gonna support these. And then uh, um, we have a wobbly. We're gonna have to wobble the the steering to the gearbox. But uh, we'll start sizing up some stuff. So, let's go ahead and uh, I got a rag there at the firewall. Go ahead and gingerly set this in there. And then we'll just a little work it in there. This is not the easiest job in the world because you have to do 9 million things at once. Clears onesies. Let's. Uh, I need to make a clamp here. You know what? We'll go ahead and uh, do that right now. But I mean, you can use an exhaust clamp on there, but um, I don't think I don't think it'd look near as good as uh, if we actually make something. 
here's a donor piece of a it's just aluminum or whatever else um, if you're doing this at home you could use cardboard but I'll show you why you don't really want to use cardboard but <clears throat> first off we're looking for functionality and style there's gonna be my quarter inch hole and I'm gonna allocate eh, let's allocate that much for like your ranch or the nut or whatever and then we're gonna bend it here zoink this is why you don't want to ideally you don't want to use cardboard because you know, like that 90 degree so now there's that right there's our hole 90 degree so now here's the hardest part of all this is now actually we can do it down here <laughs> what we're gonna have to put up there we're just gonna have to do it guys more curvies so there's that all right what is that all right and this guy here get in there without scratching anything. Oh. Okay. I think that's pretty good, guys. Okay. It's curved around the column. And when you pinch it together, there is our relief. Which is more than adequate. We're going to go ahead and bend a piece of strap steel. This that contour. Punch some holes in it. Shine it up and bammo, there's our clamp. So more about the strap. So there's our center for a quarter inch hole. I've already drilled this out. My strap is a three quarters inch of it, it's three quarters of an inch wide. So hey hey. That's the spicy meat the ball. Right, guys there it is there's a little airplane wing and like I said when you're fabricating stuff as long as you don't bend a 90 you can always kind of recover that but it's when you bend a 90 is when uh, if you bent it the wrong way or if you have to manipulate it or something like that that's when it's gonna crack I'll tell you what that's a tough clamp all right maybe you can see that maybe let's turn you like this we Alright, here's our clamp. We're gonna have to open it up a little bit. I don't even know if it's gonna fit. Oh, look at that. Look at that clamp. Anyway, because it's a clamp, we'll probably rotate it to where the bolt's like up here somewhere. And uh, it'll be super cool. <clears throat> so, now we know it fits. Uh, we'll size it up for a bolt. And uh, we'll paint it. We'll put it on. And then we'll move on to... Uh, let's plug the steering column in. Alright guys. There she is. We have our shifter. I just put this bezel. There's only one screw in there. But I put the bezel on there. So we could find out how flat it was, right? Anyway, it looks like it's clocked right. And there is that clamp we made. Right there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, paint us some bolts. Paint us up a clamp. Clamp that stuff. The steering column's done. So, now we got our steering column in. I'll put the, um, the accessories on later. Um, but the wiring's all done. Anyway, yeah, I'll just uh, keep going. Well, that pretty much wraps up the day. Tommy got a lot accomplished. I got very little accomplished, like usual. Can't wait till I'm rich and famous someday so I don't have to work all day long other than doing this stuff. So hopefully that'll happen within the next 12 minutes. Hey, maybe not. So steering column, you saw that. Bunch of wiring, you saw that. Obviously we got the firewall taken care of. We've been doing some work on the engine and this over this next week, you'll see that all come together we're gonna to get the engine and transmission fitted in but anyway we want to as always you know we appreciate you guys coming and watching us and spending time with us 
and thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.